Hi everyone, I'm Laura Noel, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Montessori infant toys. Maddie is our little model here with all of her Montessori toys, and I just want to go through a little bit about some of the popular ones. Montessori toys are wooden toys that are made specifically to help children with their movement and also to help them discover and um, embrace the natural world. Unlike electronic toys that have lights and sounds and all kinds of things like that where you push something and it does something, wooden toys are very simple, very basic. They help children with their fine motor skills and their gross motor skills and their and mental development and just really help them to learn on many different levels because it's an open-ended toy. There are a few basic Montessori toys and then there are many inspired and you can search Etsy and a ton of other shops, um, Amazon and independent stores that have all kinds of stuff available. Uh, but there are a couple of things that I got. The first set of Montessori toys that I got was a wooden set from Intuit Toys um, on Amazon and their set has actually changed a little bit. It isn't exactly these four. Uh, but it's about $25 and it has these clutching bead uh, set. There's an elastic in there and then the wooden beads are on it. And Maddie quite enjoys this. She's not going to play with them right now because she's got this other one in her mouth. <laughs> and then there is the, um, the pin and the ring that they practice putting on. And you have the egg in the cup, where they take the egg out and put it back in. This is about, just right around the eight, nine months when they start um, the, with the pincher grasp. However, you have to be careful if the egg is very small. I never ever let her play with this without my direct supervision and I don't let her put it in her mouth. She does, however, love this cup. And then you have your standard ring rattle. Very popular, you can find them all over the place. A lot of the times you can find these individually if there's like, but especially like the ring rattle and stuff um, and the egg and cup and such. But I did happen to get that set and there are a lot of other sellers I've seen them on Etsy and stuff. I just happened to get that one because it was a good price. The other one that I got is this organic cotton teether with a wooden ring. Um, I got this from Etsy, a seller, the Mama Shop one. She currently does not have this on there. Uh, but you can find a ton of ones just like this or different kinds of fabrics on Etsy. They're very popular. Uh, Maddie just loves the wooden rings. They're absolutely great. And then the fabric is great for like catching the tool. <laughs> yeah, when they're teething and such. So it's a great teether, very simple and very effective. Most recently, I placed an order with Montessori Woodworks on Etsy and they have some very basic ones. They have a set of six infant toys and that's what I got, but you can also get them individually or in sets of, um, they have a couple different sets of them. And I also got two additional ones. So this is what I got. I wish I would have gotten this before she was born or when she was really little, unfortunately. I didn't get it until she was nine months, so she's kind of, not necessarily outgrown some of them, but you can start at two or three months with things like this clutching bead strand. Um, she loves chewing on this. Do you want that? Do you want that? Um, and again, they have another ring rattle. This one is actually much longer than the first one I had, so. Great for teethers and shaking. And then I'm gonna need to take this from you. You're not gonna like that. Can I show them? Maddie, can I show them? This is a, this is a bell rattle. It has two bells on the end. Um, she absolutely adores that. It does kind of make me nervous because the bells are attached and she's putting the whole thing in her mouth. So again, I don't let her play with that unless I'm sitting right here. And you always want to check for, to make sure that all the pieces are really connected before you give them to them. Yeah. Uh, but it's great for clutching when they're two, three months. And then they also are safe to teeth on as long as they're in good condition. Another one um, that's about three months is the interlocking discs. And this is great for when they start learning to move things from hand to hand. 
and also to encourage them uh, as a teether. So that one is pretty fun. Another one that you can use from two to three months is the bell cylinder. I absolutely love these little cylinders because they keep the objects in there. There's not little pieces that they can stick in her mouth. You know, she can't fit this entire thing in her mouth. And it's really fun for her to grab and shake. So there's one big bell inside there and she loves just holding it and just shaking it and you can roll them because they're a cylinder and it's just a lot of fun. So this one is really cool. Then when they're about six months, you can get out the ball cylinder. This is big <laughs> and pretty heavy. So they're not gonna be picking this up for a while, but what they say is when they're six months or so, you can start rolling it on the floor and trying to encourage them to crawl toward it and stuff like that. So it's very interesting. Let me see if I can read it here. It kinda, yeah, there you go. It, the balls roll around and it creates a good sound, good color. They're all the different primary colors. And it's just a larger, more interactive toy. So all of those came in the infant toy set that I got. They would have been more expensive if I had bought them individually, so I just got the set. The two that I did get um, outside of that, you can also get these individually, but I bought these two as a set, are the Palmer Grass Block Palm Grass and the Pincher Grass Block. It has just this little tiny um, knob that they learn to work on with their Pincher Grass. So the Palmer you can start around eight months when they're learning to grab things with their palm. And the pincher starts around nine months when they're starting to learn the pincher grasp. Maddie can grab the palm one. She pretty much just dumps out the pincher one. She's working on her pincher grasp at nine months, but she hasn't really figured out how to pull the knob out. Um, but again, she's teething, so she just likes to chew on everything. So I really love these Montessori Woodworks things, they are very high quality. They are made of solid hardwood. They have a beeswax finish that is all natural. They're made with non-toxic glue. You know, they're just, they're really good quality. I love them. I highly recommend that you check them out. There are a lot of other different places on Etsy um, and other dealers that have these types of toys, um, but I really do. I, I'm very impressed with these toys from Montessori Woodworks. And uh, they were considerably um, good priced in. <laughs> Which, of course, is a big deal. So those are some of the basic Montessori infant toys that you'll see around and that I am so glad that Maddie has. And really, uh, if you have another child, these will be their main toys um, instead of some of the more tra untraditional ones that uh, Maddie had when she was little, even though we tried to stick with more wooden things. I like to use these little baskets. These are two little bread baskets that I got on Amazon. I'll link them below. I got a pack of 12, I think, in there, for like 20 bucks. And these are really good, just, <laughs> just, hey, hey, to store them in and leave them like on a shelf that she can just pull out herself and learn to put things away and stuff. So I really like those. You can also use other kinds of baskets and trays um, for Montessori inspired storage. So that's our Montessori toys right now for infants. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you have some Montessori toys for your babies, please share with me in the comments um, what your favorites are and where you got them. I'd love to hear about that. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.